Hey, this is Sam Black with my third match with Amulet Bloom in Modern. I'm on the play. I have a double amulet hand that doesn't have much else going on, but it has scry, sleight of hand, and ancient stirrings, so I will keep that. Double amulet's very powerful. Not the second one is not in any way redundant. Um I think I like just getting an amulet into play. Let's my it puts the temple into play to untap next turn anyway. Although it does slow down my scry and make my scry redundant with my sleight of hand, but I can just ancient stirrings first. This is sleight of hand, not serum vision, so I don't need to cast it as soon as possible. Although it also breaks my ancient stirrings, so I'll scry and then figure out what I want to do. Save the scry, but I don't know if saving the scry is something I care about. Especially since I can just play amulet and then play temple and cast both of these. I lose the scry, but I get a bunch of spells. And if the top is really great, I can just leave it or just draw it. That's actually pretty great. I um, wonder if I just stirrings into that and then cast slight. Because uh, this gives me six mana next turn. I just need to find a threat. But I can also just. If I draw it, then I still need to find a threat. Then I, yeah, I need to find a threat, and I don't have the mana to cast these things. So, yeah, I guess I'll just ancient stirrings. Take this thing. Ship a couple of titans. Don't love that. Try to find business. Fail to find business. Uh, well, I already have a lot of mana. Um, so I guess I just take the cavern, since I'm playing against a blue deck. Seems reasonable. So ordinarily I like trying to hide that I have cavern by not putting it into play, but since the way that I'm getting my mana is with these two amulets, I need to have it in play in advance. So I think I just play it this turn. Alternatively, I could pick up my temple to start scrying slowly, which also is actually quite reasonable. but. I think I want to be sure that this is happening. That's not great for me. But it's tapped now, so if I just spike a titan, I think my opponent doesn't quite die because of Sun Home being in my hand, probably. But my opponent's definitely not going to be happy if I draw a titan. And of course, that is not what I did.
is not a very fast clock. Actually, pretty happy to get that ghost quarter out of the way. Amount of mana in play is not really my concern. That is not a card I'm afraid of. Alright, and we did it. Uh, Titan was a pretty big favorite to get pathed. chamber I think because I'm just gonna get them with the Titan so I guess it's Radiant Fountain You're not supposed to path now, you're supposed to make me choose what I'm getting first. Then I might get Slayer Stronghold with Suva. Or I mean Boris Garrison. But whatever. Obviously I don't have another forest to get. And now I get what I was planning to get anyway. Which of course is Tulare West. So my growth chamber. So I don't have enough mana to cast, to transmute and cast a titan. Um, the question is whether I want to transmute and cast a pact, just so that it can't be countered because titan's uncounterable. Um, next turn I pay for the pact. I'd need to draw a bounce land to actually be able to cast the titan. So I don't think I cast the pact. a good draw. I suspect that one of these will resolve. But it's not guaranteed. Who would have learned? I will 
hedge and assume yes. I guess this doesn't have to be Growth Chamber. Might be better to get Boris Garrison. We already have Sun Home. Yeah, let's let's not get Growth Chamber. Let's get Boros Garrison to Larry West. So I haven't played a land yet, and I have two, four, six, eight lands in play, which means if I play a land, I go up to nine, um, which means that I can pay for two pact, well, for summoner's pact and pact negation. So I think at this point that I might want to get pact negation. some mana into play. Sure. You can gain all the life you want, friend. So 
is going pretty slow. I can easily pay for two pack of negations, so I'll just get another because I'm winning on board. Supreme Verdict obviously punishes me, but I think that's okay. Aether Spellbomb. Comfortable with that. try to force my opponent to use the Aether Spell Bomb this turn. Are you really not going to? Fine. Now I cast Titan again. slow. Seems pretty likely that I will, since this is game one. But I'm going to play this tempo anyway.
should have given vigilance. up uh, that's wrong I should pick up my skyland efficiency on what I'm doing here. And this should be pretty evident by how I'm playing this. this because I am not good enough at just not doing things I don't need to do while I'm lagging like this. Come on. Right, F7 got me out of it. draw the pact and I can just play this and give it haste and I don't want to expose myself to a wrath. Specifically it's a supreme verdict. Give some given. It's your last card. Final can right. Alright, well, I won, but it took way too long, so I saw a detention sphere, uh, this seems like a swan song type situation. Likely another basic forest getting passed, um, I could go to quarter fight potential colonnades. Colonnade kind of game, but whatever. I need to go super fast. I don't know that I need 
Slaughter Pact. I guess my opponent could have something weird like Meddling Mage. Um, but they don't need Radiant Fountain. They don't need Comedy Garden either. Um, Seal seems fine, but not great or necessary. Um, I don't know if Hive Mind is right, and that my opponent might just have a bunch of counters for it, and it costs a lot of mana. But I think that given my time situation, I want the easy kills. Uh, bloom a bunch of lands into play seems fine. Not sure if I should pick up Gemstone Mine or Teleri West. I guess probably Teleri West. Ghost Corner my gemstone mine? Yes, please. I don't know what that is trying to accomplish. Um, trying to decide if I'm a cavern or summoner's pact. I think cavern. Good. So now I can transmute to Larry West for Pact of Negation, and then try to have mind with Pact of Negation back up, and then slaughter Pact the Wall of Omens. is a mislead. All 
Alright, that's the game.